My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have behind me is the Heleberg Una tent. This is a four season tent. I love it. It's one of my favorites. But here's the thing. In the summertime, in the warmer months, I simply cannot use it. On the inside of this tent, it has a fabric inner. There's very little mesh, and that means very little airflow. I've talked about this before in previous episodes, especially with the Nimaj 2. Recently, I had a video about that tent, and I was discussing the mesh inner for it. That is a conversion kit. It takes that shelter and converts it from a four season tent to a three season tent. In this episode, everyone, we're going to be discussing another one of those products. This is the mesh inner for the Una tent. Before diving deep into this episode, there is one point to make. You may see some smoke here. I have a smoky fire going and that's because of sweat bees. Here at Lone Wolf Mountain, we really don't have mosquitoes to deal with, but what we have are sweat bees and they are highly irritating. No repellent works against them. They are simply terrible, <laughs> just terrible. Anyways, everyone, that's why you may see some smoke. All right, now let's focus on this tent and specifically the mesh inner for it. I mentioned before that this is a four season conversion kit. Allow me to explain exactly what that means and why it's so important in regards to this tent. The company Heleberg is known for making four season tents. Four season tents, in all truth, can only be used in the winter time. You have to keep in mind what a four season tent is designed to do. It's designed for ultimate protection. It's stronger, heavier, it's made to block airflow. It's made to hold in some heat. It's made to block blowing snow and so on. That's the case with the Una. This is a four season tent and it's designed to be out in the worst of conditions, not summertime conditions. In the summertime, it's all about airflow. You wanna be comfortable. You wanna get inside of your tent and feel that cool breeze coming in during the night. Otherwise, you are going to sweat your brains out. That's what would happen if you tried to use this tent in the summertime. Even with the door open, you might die in it. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, you might die in it. It will be so hot, so miserable. That's why these mesh conversion kits are so important. They take a four season tent and convert it to a three season tent so you can have excellent airflow. With one of these kits, you can actually use one of these tents in the summer months. Now, luckily everyone, I've been able to get my hands on the mesh inner for this tent. Now it should be known that these are super hard to find. To find this product, I had to, basically I contacted every outdoor company that I can find all across the country. I talked to people in Alaska, California, I mean, so on and so forth. I called everybody. I told them to take my name, write it down. I told them that I'm looking for an Una mesh inner. So it took six months. Finally, a company got one in and here we go. I was able to purchase it. Before I install this mesh inner, let's go ahead and talk about this for a second. Let's go over some stats for you all. The price of this currently is $230. Expect it to go up because of inflation and other issues. The weight of this is one pound, nine ounces. That's with the storage bag. It is super lightweight and it should be because the Una is a rather small tent. Now everyone, I will open up the tent and I'll show you all how the fabric inner is installed. Now you all can see the fabric inner and you can also see how it's attached. As you go along the body here, you have these black straps. These connect to the tent body. And right here you have these toggles. Each of these toggles can be detached and then the inner can be removed and replaced. Hopefully you all can see just how easy of a process this is. This is going very quick. There's not much to it. This is a fantastic demonstration of how the fabric inner works. You can see here that this is almost has like a balloon effect. There's air trapped inside of this because it's performing as it should. It's blocking out wind drafts. It's holding in heat. It's holding in that warm air. Again, this is exactly what you do not want in the warmer months. You want airflow. You want heat to escape and cool air to come in. You have the same bathtub floor, but now you have a ton of mesh. And look, no balloon action. It's not holding in any sort of air. So to install this, all we have to do is get the orientation right. And that's very simple because the door's on this side. That means that we want the zipper on this side. To install the mesh inner, it's just as easy as taking it out. Basically, you go back to those toggles, reconnect, and you're good to go. Start with the back side, connect, and then move to the front. And just like that, the installation is done. This is now a three season tent. A very strong, a very protective three season tent. You could see how much airflow you would get from this side. You can also go to the back. 
and you could take this, roll it up. There's a toggle on the inside, you could tie it off. So you can get some airflow coming from this direction as well. With this mesh inner, it did come with these pole cups. You can use the tent poles and set this up all by itself without the fly. All in all, the installation process is very simple. The inner comes out and it goes in very easily. The only thing is, is that you have to basically bend down and crawl in to disconnect everything. So if you have some sort of issue that prevents you from bending over, that could be a problem. But all in all, for the most part, very simple, very easy to do. It takes maybe five minutes or less. When I took out the fabric inner, one thing that I noticed immediately was just how heavy it is by itself. Compared to the mesh inner, it's a night and day difference. The fabric inner is heavy, the mesh inner is not. Sitting inside of the inner now, everything zipped up. It is warmer, of course. Even a mesh inner does hold in some heat, but the thing is this. I can actually feel the breeze coming through and it feels incredible. With the fabric inner, you would not be able to feel anything. The only thing that you would feel is the inside of the tent becoming warmer and warmer as you're breathing in it. You're releasing heat as the sun is coming down. That's why these mesh kits are so important because they allow in airflow. Right now, there's a breeze coming through the trees and I can actually feel it. And it is glorious. As far as the features of the mesh inner, you have two pockets, one here and you have another right there. Outside of that, that's it. You have the bathtub floor and a ton of mesh. I have thoroughly went over the mesh inner and I see no issues when it comes to quality. The seam work, the stitching, everything is perfect. There's no issues here. And there shouldn't be for this price, $230 for a mesh inner. Let's be honest, that is absolutely ridiculous. That is a ridiculous price. But it goes hand in hand with Helibird. You want the best, you'll pay the price for it. That's how it goes. And with that being said, everyone, I cannot wait to take this tent out for a trip coming soon coming soon again everyone this is one of my favorite tents i really really like this and now it's even better i can use it in the summer months and i can't wait i'm excited i personally find this product interesting and i wanted to share it with you all so if you found the mesh inner for the una interesting as well hit the thumbs up because i do appreciate it it does help the channel before i go i should mention that there are mesh inners for a number of heliberg tents not all of them i don't think but most of them. And with that, I am done. I'm done talking. How about that? Now it's your turn. Comment down below. What do you all think about the mesh inner for the Una tent? Do you think it's a game changer? A very expensive game changer. I don't want to just smooth over that point. We have to be honest. This is a very expensive accessory. Almost to the point of it being nonsensical, $230 is nonsense for an inner. Yes, the quality is fantastic. It is super strong. There's no doubt about that. But again, this is nothing more than a mesh inner and it is very expensive. It is what it is, everyone. So comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this? Do you think it's worth the price? Do you think it's worth the functionality for myself? I do not regret buying this at all. I'm very happy to have it, even though it took me six months to get it. I know this goes without saying, but the channel is agenda free. I'm showing off this product because I find it interesting. I hope you do too. I don't care if you buy this product. This is not product placement nothing like that. I'm here to share information and that's it. So folks, take care, strength and honor. Bye for now.